We have all been told that the entire New Testament was written in Greek. But I have evidence to believe that the Gospel of Matthew was originally written in the Hebrew language, not Greek. First, we're going to read this scripture and then I'm going to show you some historical evidence. This is the book of Yahu or Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 3. The voice of the one crying in the desert, Prepare the way of Yahuwah, make straight in the desert a highway for our Allahim. Now look what it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 3. He's actually quoting Yashiyahu or Isaiah here. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Yashiyahu, saying, A voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of Yahuwah, make his paths straight. It's an exact quote from the book of Isaiah. Now in the book of Isaiah where it mentioned the word Lord, notice how it's in all caps. That is where they covered up Yahuwah's name. H3068, which is yod Hey wah Hey, Yahuwah. But if you go into a newer Bible once again, for Matthew 3 verse 3, it's little case Lord. And if you click on it, the Father's name is not there. It's just Kyrios, which is a Greek word. Which makes no sense. If he was directly quoting Isaiah, he would have put the Father's name as well. He would have not followed the ineffable man doctrine by man that replaces Yahuwah's name with Lord. Now check this out. So check this out. This is a quote from a man named Papias, who was a former student of the Apostle John. He wrote, So then Matthew wrote the oracles in the Hebrew language, and everyone interpreted them as he was able, meaning they translated or interpreted them into Greek. Here's a quote from Irenaeus, who was a student of Polycarp, who was a student of the Apostle John. Matthew also issued a written gospel among the Hebrews in their own dialect. This is a quote from a highly influential theologian named Oregon Adamantius. Hope I'm not butchering that name. Among the four gospels, which are the only indisputable ones in the church of God under heaven, I have learned by tradition that the first was written by Matthew. Look what it says. And it was prepared for the converts from Judaism and published in the Hebrew language. Recorded by Eusebius. And here's a quote from Eusebius. For Matthew, who had at first preached to the Hebrews when he was about to go to the other peoples, committed his gospel to writing in his native tongue, which is Hebrew. Which makes sense why Matthew 3.3 should be a direct quote with the Father's name, just like it was in Isaiah 40 verse 3. Just my opinion, you don't have to agree with me. I hope all of you watched till the end of the video before you left a disgusting comment. Don't forget to like and follow. If you guys want a part two on this series, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shalom. Research flat